All right guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we learned how to create a list and that list could contain one list item, two list item, or even three list items. The first one is just called text. Then the second one is called secondary text. And the third one is called tertiary text. And in the last video, we left it over there. So in this video, we are gonna learn how to add an image over here. We can provide our own image and we can use also an icon that is inside Kiwi MD, so we don't need to provide that. But these require different kind of elements, that is the icon list and the avatar list. So we are gonna learn how to add our own image and also how to add an icon inside this video. So first of all, we need to import something else from our uix.list and that will be called one and over here you can see one line icon list items and this is for only one line. So if for example, we are using one line list item over here, then only we can add this one. Uh, that is the second one, one line icon list item. But because as you can see over here, we are using tertiary text, that is the three line list item. So that is why we need to use something known as the three line icon list item. So let's import that instead. So let's uh, use this one, three line icon list item and click on that. And now what we can do is instead of adding this over here, we can just add this if we want to add our icon inside this three line list item. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it over here. And then if you go back to our notes, you can see over here that, that the flow to adding an icon or an avatar is first we need to add this new element of icon left widget or icon right widget and then one line list item and do all of the other stuff that we have already done. But we need to add this icon left widget to our one line list item. So first we need to import this icon left widget. If you want the icon to appear on the left hand side of your list somewhere over here, then we are going to use this icon left widget. And if you want the icon to appear on the right, then we are going to use the icon right widget and similar it's with avatar. And avatar is basically when you want to add your own image instead of an icon. So in avatar, you just use image left widget and image right widget. If you want the image to appear on the right hand side of the list, but let's first focus on the icon. So I'm just going to copy this icon left widget. And what I'm gonna do is over here on the next line because this line is already getting pretty huge. So I'm just gonna add this line again over here. And this time we are gonna import our icon left widget. So let's add that icon left widget. And if we needed to add our icon on the right hand side, we would have imported the icon right widget. Now what we're gonna do because we want to add this icon left widget inside our code. First, we need to create this variable. You can call it whatever you want. And I'm just gonna call it, uh, let's call it icon actually because in the next uh, avatar, we are gonna call it image. And uh, what we're gonna do is we are gonna use this functionality that KVMT has provided. So I'm just gonna paste it over here. And this requires a variable known as icon parameter over here. So let's just write icon equals to and then which icon we are supposed to use. So we already know all the name of the icons. If you don't know, go back to the label video or go back to the label folder inside our GitHub repository and look for the notes section. There we'll be able to find all the list of icons that is available inside KVMD. For right now, I'm just gonna use the Android icon that is already available. And then we need to add this icon inside our items. So first of all, what we are gonna do, we are just gonna write items dot add widget and we're gonna add our uh, icon inside this and that is pretty much it guys. So now let's reload it and see how it looks. So stop and rerun and hopefully this time it should look pretty good. So as you can see, there is an icon inside this three line list item. Now, if you had created just a one list item, then you would not be using this three line icon list item. You would be using one line icon list item that is also there inside KVMD. So for example, if we type over here, you can see this one line icon list item is there. Then you'll be using this one. And similar for the two line list item, you'll be using the two line icon list item. So now that we have added an icon, let's actually how learn how to add an avatar inside our application. So for that, we are gonna just remove this from here. And instead of adding the icon, we are gonna add the three avatar icon list item. So we are gonna choose this one, three line avatar list item. And I'm just gonna copy and paste this over here. And we're literally gonna be doing the same things. And because we are adding an image instead of an icon, I'm just gonna change this to image. And instead of using this icon left widget, we need to import something else. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna import known as the image left widget. And similarly, if here, if you want the image to appear on the left hand side, you want to use this image left widget. And if you want the image to appear on the right hand side, so use image right widget. So let's actually use this image right widget now. So I'm just gonna copy this image right widget and I'm gonna paste it over here. And instead of icon, this requires a parameter known as the source because we are gonna give the source of our image. And as you can see inside my project, I've already added this facebook.png over here. This is the Facebook icon. 
And so what I'm going to do is in the source, I'm just going to write facebook.png. And this basically is the path of where your image file is. I've just copied and pasted our image inside my project. So I don't really need to provide the full path. And then we just need to add this image inside our list that is our inside our item. So it shows on every item inside our list. So instead of this icon, I'm just going to copy and paste this image. And this should show the facebook.png on our list on the right hand side. So now it says an error. So if you scroll up a little bit, you'll be able to see this error. It says key error, write container. And I did a little bit of research on Kiwi MD as to why it's giving us this error. And it's basically the right container or the right image write widget hasn't been properly implemented inside Kiwi MD yet, and they are actually trying to fix it. So for right now, just use the image left widget and icon left widget functionality. So over here, what we are gonna do is, we are gonna change it to image left widget. And similarly over here, we are gonna change it to image left widget. So now let's reload it and you'll be able to see that on the left hand side, our image starts to appear. And you can add any kind of image over here. So as you can see in Facebook or an image or an avatar, we had to provide it ourselves, the source, but inside our icon, we just could use the icons that were inside Kiwi MD. So guys, so we have now learned how to add an icon and an avatar inside Kiwi MD, but all of this stuff has been done using our code and not the builder method. So make sure that our builder method basics are very, very strong. Let's actually also learn how to use the builder method and use those multi-line strings to get the same effect that we have gotten right now. So let's clear everything up and then we're gonna start from scratch and try to recreate what we have created over here. So first of all, we are gonna create our multi-line string and I'm just gonna call it list underscore helper. You can just call it whatever you want and this will create a multi-line string over here. And if we go back to our notes, you can see the flow that is over here. First, we need to add a screen, then we need to add a scroll view, then we need to add an empty list and we need to add a one line list item. So let's do all of these four things using our builder multi-line string method instead of the code method. So let's go back to our code. And actually we can even remove this string from over here, the screen thing. But instead of that, we are gonna import our builder method first of all. And we also do need all of this stuff over here. We can just remove this because when we are using the builder method, these things are automatically imported by Kiwi MD and we don't need to import them manually. So we can remove and actually we are also gonna remove this screen and we are gonna adding it using our builder method. So we are gonna remove all of that stuff and we are gonna import first of all the builder. We is gonna write kiwi.lang and we are gonna import our builder functionality. We're just gonna write builder. And then what we're gonna do is instead of using the screen functionality over here, I'm just gonna remove this. I'm gonna use our builder method and we are gonna write load underscore string. And we're gonna load the string that we are gonna create over here. So I'm just gonna copy this and inside brackets, I'm gonna paste it. And then we can just return this screen on our screen. And if you look back at our notes, first thing we require is our screen. So let's add that using our strings. So we are gonna add this screen over here instead of adding it inside our code. And this will automatically be added by Kiwi MD. We need, don't need to import this manually. And then because we need, the next thing that we need is our scroll view. And this time we are gonna go backwards because this is the top in the hierarchy. So first we are gonna add the screen and then inside the screen, we are gonna add a scroll view and it's gonna go on. So first let's add the screen and now we need to add the scroll view. So let's copy this. And because we want this list view or scroll view to be inside our screen, first we are gonna press our tab button and then we are gonna paste our scroll view. So let's add a colon over here too. And then we need the MD list functionality over here. So let's copy that too. And we are gonna paste this inside our scroll view. So as always, first we need to press the tab button and then we add our MD list. And then inside our MD list, we finally need this one line list items. Obviously then this can be two line list item or uh, avatar or icon list item, whatever you want. But we are gonna start with very basic. That is the one line list item. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this over here. And then this one line list items requires some attributes. So if you remember inside our uh, previous code, so let's actually go and have a look at our previous code. So you can see over here when we created one line list item, it required this text of uh, whatever we want to appear on the list. So we are gonna add that text over here also. So I'm just gonna paste this uh, colon over here and then I'm gonna add this text parameter that we used to add inside our one line list item when we were creating it through code. But instead of equals to text equals to, we are gonna put a colon. So anything inside our uh, multi-line string is not going to contain equals to but these colons. So inside this we are just going to write uh, item one just like we did in the previous video. And then for example we want to create another one line list item. So I'm just going to copy this uh, from here and paste this again. And this will contain two items inside our list. So let's 
call it item two and now let's run our main.py file and you'll be able to see that two items are appearing inside our list the item one and item two now what if we want to make sure that uh, 20 items appear in our list just like we did with our main.py file we created a for loop but this time we are going to create this for loop a little bit differently so instead of just using the builder method we are going to be using the combination of a builder method and our coding method to add all of them inside our empty list all of these uh, 21 line list items inside our empty list so instead of writing all the stuff over here what we are going to do is we are going to give this uh, id so that we can refer to this empty list whenever we want to add items or one line list items inside this empty list because as you know in our notes you can see that we are adding one line list items inside our empty list so we are going to provide an id to our empty list so let's go back over here and instead of uh, equal to obviously you need to provide an id and I'm just going to call this ID as container. You can call this whatever you want, but if you want to follow along, just call this container. And then we are going to import our one line list item because we are not using, we are partially using our builder methods. We need to import our one line list item. And we're going to write kvmd. So let's make sure we import it properly. kvmd.tyx.list. And then inside this, we are going to import our one line list items. And then over here, we're going to use this uh, one line list items. And one more thing I want to teach you guys is whenever we create our app, there is this function that is called automatically known as the on start function. So let's create that function for right now, just like this build method is automatically called this on start method is also automatically called whenever our app is started. So let's write that. So this function will automatically be called. There are also other functions, for example, on stop, whenever you close your mobile application, that function will be called automatically. But for right now, let's use this on underscore start method. So inside this, what we're going to do is after our screen or after our mobile application has opened, we want to add other items inside this empty list or other elements inside this empty list. So inside this on start method, we're going to create our for loop. This is going to write for in range. And just like in the previous video, we are going to give it a range of 20. And this time we are also going to create an item variable and we are going to add our one line list item. And we are just going to give it a text value of, uh, let's say, just like we did in our last video, we are going to call it item. And uh, let's give a space over here. And because we want our item name to change all the time, we are first going to convert it to string and then we are going to add this i variable. So it's going to go on to create 20 items. So let's uh, go to the next line. And now to add these items inside this MD list, which contains an ID of container, what we're going to do is we are just going to write self that is inside this list. We are going to add, we are first going to go to root. So whenever you want to reference this ID that is inside a string, you basically write self dot root dot IDs dot and then the name of our ID so that it knows what you're referring to. So I'm just going to write container. So this is basically the command that is used to refer an ID inside our list underscore helper or any kind of multi line string. So this will automatically go to this area and then it will again add this item inside our empty list. So let's go back over here and tell it what we want to add. So we are just going to write add underscore widget. And now we are going to just add our item inside or let's call it items because it's going to contain 20 items. And then we are just going to add these items inside our empty list. And let's write that. So items. And now let's run this and see how it looks so now you can see we have created 20 items over here and you can similarly add an icon or uh, image over here just by creating an image functionality over here and uh, just using icon uh, list item and then adding the same thing and adding it inside our items and then returning the items inside this container so guys this is pretty much it let's do a quick recap of what we have done in this video first we learned how to add an avatar and an icon and then we learned how to use the builder method to add a screen scroll view md list and then we learned how to add our one line list items just by using this md list and adding them inside this but because we wanted to add 20 items inside our list underscore helper or inside our application we gave it an id of container and then we used a for loop over here we imported our one line list item and then we just imported and created our items just like we used to do it in the last video. And then to refer and to add our items inside this MD list, we are going to use this self dot root dot IDs. And then you can just use the ID, whatever you have, for example, inside scroll view, if you had given it ID of scroll, we would have used scroll to use this uh, scroll view functionality. 
So now we can just add this to inside this empty list. We can just use this dot add widget and we're gonna add these items inside our empty list. And that's pretty much it. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are gonna learn how to create a data table that is gonna contain rows and columns and it's gonna contain like check marks. We are also gonna learn how to add that element. And basically it's for displaying your data beautifully. If you have a lot of data, for example, food and how many calories that food contains and you wanna display that data in a tabular manner, then data table is the way to go. So we're going to learn how to do that in the next video. I'll see you over there.